Tonks and Tails, joined by semi-finalist. Big game tomorrow now. Huge game tomorrow. <laughs> wow, that, that was the, uh, yeah, that's an even bigger game than today. Yeah, let's just talk about, this is now the furthest you've been here at Lakeside. 3-1 yep. um, down in that game, you fight all the way back to yep. beat him 5-4. Uh, how much does that now take out of you? Oh, it takes everything out of me. It took a lot out of me to win tonight, um, but... I've got a late start tomorrow, seven o'clock, so uh, I'll be uh, recovered by tomorrow and uh, I'll be just doing my normal routine and uh, hopefully improve. Talk to me about what was going through your mind at 3-1 down in terms of the fact that he, 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 he hasn't let up all week no. he's been like that. Scoring-wise, he's just absolutely smashed the board. But there was times where he just let you in mm. and you picked those right moments and I think it was the experience and the year you've had mm. that has really allowed you to go on there and just win that game. Yeah, I mean, it's 3 1 down. I actually thought I was out of the tournament and I was thinking, okay, just make it respectable now. Uh, I pulled a setback to make it 3 2. And uh, then I got 3 all, and I thought, you know, you're in with the chance now. I could regroup, and he won the, uh, made it 4 3. But as soon as I made it 4 all, I thought, I like this, this is good. It was so respectable up there. Everybody mm. on, the, on the TV could see that, like, whenever one of you hit a good score, it was always acknowledged. Mm. And ev after every set, it was always a smile on both. And yeah. that's the way darts should be played, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it should be. Me and uh, Wayne are great friends. He's absolutely a great dart player. Uh, he's a proud Welshman and I love him to bits. And so uh, I've got so much admiration and respect for him. It's, uh, it's unreal. So, uh, but when we're on stage against each other, I mean, he was, he was trying to kill me out there and uh, yeah. I, I didn't want to let him. Yeah, you got him back. <laughs> Tomorrow now, you, put, you play a young German who quite, reasonably is a sensation here at Lakeside at the moment. Mm. He, he goes up on that stage and he doesn't really allow anything to get to him. Mm. He plays his own game. How do you now prepare for someone who not a lot of us have seen before mm. and now he's in the semi-final too? He's had a great tournament. I mean, uh, Mikel has had a brilliant tournament. So uh, it's going to be fun, but Wayne today I was actually scared of. I know his scoring power, I know his finishing power and he didn't disappoint. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really thought I'd rode my luck on this one. But I think uh, if you look down the list of winners, they've all of the tournament, they've all uh, rode the look at some stage. So Mikel, I'm looking forward to that. I'm definitely not scared of him, and uh, I'm going to go out and play my, my game tomorrow. Good. But well, we won't keep any longer. You've got a big game to prepare for tomorrow, mate. Yep. Everyone at Tuxedo Tales, which is the best of the semi-final. Thank and, you. Uh, well done for the week. Thank you very much. Well done, mate. Brilliant. Cheers. Thank you.